Ternit uh, problem represents uh, an issue which is only getting started. It's an ecological bomb uh, which is uh, still ticking in other parts of the world where uh, we see uh, where it, they've used uh, Eternit plates uh, on the wall of uh, a stall or the roof of a house. Uh, they're creating a problem for the future. They don't know uh, that uh, this bomb is destined to explode with uh, drastic uh, consequences. Uh, this is something where the European Parliament could uh, be uh, at the forefront in getting the issue discussed at the global level. Directive, the European Directive 148 is very clear. Reduction in asbestos exposure will nonetheless reduce the risk of developing asbestos-related diseases for the entire population. That's a fundamental provision. And I'm, uh, I like Anita Normack's uh, comment who is the secretary of the uh, BWI, who says the only safe use of asbestos is no use. There cannot be any sort of controlled, sure use of this mineral. Asbestos can actually be used to produce cement. So what was our intention? We wanted to inform people because the institutions had, how can I put it, stopped publicising the need to remove these asbestos plates, this ethernet, from our buildings. And I would like just to call upon the institutions to start this virtuous process which is necessary in Italy to try and resolve a problem which people have forgotten about. We were not aware of how dangerous asbestos is. We can say that it's either been underestimated or, or we can say that there are people at fault here. Between 1900 and 2000, over 175 million tonnes of asbestos has been extracted throughout the world and that gives us the idea of um, how serious this is. And according to a WHO report, 125 million people have been exposed to asbestos at work. 100,000 people die in the world um, each year due to exposure to asbestos. Now in Europe this is the main individual cause of cancer at a professional level in Europe. Um, another question is uh, the market. Is the market really clean? So. Our experience is that on the European level, market surveillance is partly existing, but not very well functioning. That means it is not clear whether we import from other parts of the world uh, asbestos-containing products. Uh, to give you one example, it's easy to uh, go via the internet and to order from China asbestos-containing uh, brake uh, plates for, for the cars. So everyone is able to to fix it and, and to change these uh, plates, and then you have the asbestos in the environment again. Um, Thermos flex for, for coffee and tea, we import a lot of them, and uh, uh, there is estimations that some 50% of the imported products are asbestos containing. In Finland, mesothelioma cases are rising nowadays. Finland has stopped the asbestos using about 1990. But there is a very big using between 1960 to 1975. We, we use uh, blue asbestos. How we handle the asbestos problems, I think best way is make risk management. And what culture in asbestos demolition work is in the real life. That is a system which, which means everything, I think so. And supervising government against the policy is, is very, very, very necessary. There are no government against the policy and, and inspecting, it means, the working make in the, in the old-fashioned way. Now the 95th Conference of the International Organization of uh, Labour in G Geneva approved uh, a resolution to ban asbestos at the global level. It was a historical decision. 
the only one of its kind. And after a long uh, procedural battle, managed to undermine the logic of profit uh, in favor of uh, fundamental values of human rights and the protection of the environment. Today, the society has to uh, remedy and compensate for the negative effects of asbestos uh, that has pro provoked in the past and is still provoking now. Uh, the uh, lawyer uh, referred to previous exposure and future exposure given the mortality that should illustrate what it, it means and what it represents to have asbestos present in Italy and other countries now. Asbestos used hazards are well known for decades and the subject itself does not become obsolete over the years. Many of the asbestos related deaths remain obscure and many of the sup supervising authorities are very toothless in all around of Europe. Asbestos was moved back after the hazard had been recognized and uh, flag ground threats to health were brought under control by legislation. And in recent years, the dangers of asbestos are even underestimated all around in, in Europe. Now all the attention is concentrated on mold and moisture problems, and even among its managements, especially in schools and hospitals, is very low.